Holy moly, guys. Are you seeing what I'm seeing right here? This stock is up almost 70%. Actually, wait, let me correct myself. This SPAC is up almost 70%. And in the past five days, are you guys ready for this? It's up almost 170%. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is insane. So we're going to break down what this is, what my thoughts are, my buying, selling, holding, what am I doing? So hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and you might as well follow me on X at Stocks Talk Stocks. That's linked down below. And with that being said, guys, cheers, stay hydrated, drink your water as always, and let's dive right into the video. So this is DWAC, as I like to call it, or Digital World Acquisition Corp. And this is actually not a stock, like I said earlier in the uh, in the intro. This is a SPAC. You guys remember the uh, the SPAC craze a couple of years ago, where pretty much every stock uh, you saw out there, well, not every stock, obviously, but it seems like there were so many SPACs that then obviously converted, which we're not seeing that much anymore these days, but the most popular one, or at least one of them now, is this one right here, Digital World Acquisition Corp., which is actually taking Truth Social, which is owned by Trump Media, obviously owned by Donald Trump, right? Um, they're taking that company public, in other words, right? This SPAC right here, Digital World Acquisition Corp., and as we're getting closer and closer to the presidential election, guys, which it's coming up soon here, there's been a lot of hype around the stock because obviously the Republican nominee, it's getting more and more clear here, guys, is going to be Donald Trump. It's pretty obvious, right? We're seeing DeSantis. He just dropped out. A couple of others uh, dropped out as well. It's, it's clear that um, you know, Trump's going to be the nominee and DeSantis is actually endorsing Trump. A lot of these people um, are endorsing him uh, as well. And that's bringing a lot of green to uh, this right here, because think about it, guys. Now that we're getting closer to the election and Trump's obviously going to be the nominee, maybe more people go on Truth Social and, you know, Download the app, create an account, follow Trump and everybody else on that app, which I actually made an account like two, three years ago. Um, and to be honest, I haven't gone on it, haven't gone on it since. But, you know, a lot of people are going to make an account, go on there and, you know, follow him or do whatever. And there's just hype in general. This is not all because this move is not all because uh, Truth Social is going to be a better business or succeed uh, if he wins the election. This is all hype, guys. Uh, not all hype, but a lot of it is hype. Some of it is that the you know the, the business will get fundamentally better. But let's be honest, a lot of it is hype. A good amount of it um, is hype. And now it's up 72%. And uh, yeah, man, I expect a lot more volatility and a lot more just, you know, a lot of crazy price action, let's just say, over the coming months. And, you know, who knows what this is going to do. At this point, what I do know is, that it's pretty overbought. I wouldn't FOMO into it personally. I mean, this is pretty intense. Just a couple of days ago, no joke, two weeks ago, not even. It was at 17 bucks. Now it just hit 48 earlier today. Now it's at 45. Unbelievable. Up 18 bucks on the day. And like I said, past five days, up 170%, which is just ridiculous. So I personally wouldn't FOMO into it, but I would consider trading it if we did get a substantial dip. Maybe some sort of uh, just selling pressure in general. We'll see. But at this point, guys, again, it's pretty overbought for me. And I'm not looking to uh, FOMO into this. And I'm not even sure. What's the all-time high on DWAC here? Yeah, man, look at that. It hit 102 bucks back in 2022, February of 2022. And it looks like the all-time high is 175. Are you freaking kidding me? From October 2021. So look at this, guys. We were at 984, $10 roughly. Shot all the way to 175. That was a move of thousands or hundreds of percent, 1,700%. And, uh, you know, then we saw a big pop or rather a sell off after that move to 175 down to about 35 bucks, popped to about 101, put a lower high in there. And obviously we've been down trending since up until about a couple of, you know, a couple of weeks ago, really less than two weeks ago where we started this big move uh, to where we are right now. So is this going to be the time where it breaks back to 100 or maybe back to all time highs? 
I don't know if I'm too convinced about that yet. For all we know, maybe we see, uh, you know, a little bit more of a rally, but we fizzle out maybe at a lower high at 75 bucks, maybe, you know, 70, 60 for all we know. I don't know. But the risk here is we do fizzle out before we take out the highs from February of not last year, but the year before, two years ago, where we hit 100 bucks. Now, if we do break out of 100 bucks, that'd be huge, obviously. Uh, but guys, we're at 44, so baby steps. Let's 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 not get too carried away here and realize what we're dealing with, which is a very 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 volatile uh, SPAC, right? You know, for all we know, this could be back to 25 bucks next week on a monstrous pullback. And, uh, you know, if that does happen, that'd be the type of pullback I would consider as at that point, the risk reward would be a lot better, at least in my opinion, uh, than where it is right now. So that's Digital World Acquisition Corp. Kind of what's going on, guys. I mean, again, we're getting more hype as the election is getting pretty close here. We're, we're seeing a lot of debates, a lot of chatter on social media, obviously, like we do, um, you know, especially last election and just dirt, you know, politics now with um, social media, it's just a whole nother ball game. You're seeing it every day. It's in your face every day. And uh, we're going to get a lot more of that. We're going to get a lot more of that over the next couple of months here uh, over this entire year, which again is going to put a lot of eyes on this particular SPAC, not saying it's going to go to the moon or anything like that. All I'm saying is uh, you should watch it. It's on my watch list. I'm watching it. I'm not in it right now. Full disclosure, I'm not in this one, uh, but I would consider it if it did see a sizable dip with a speculative amount of money in the speculative part of my portfolio, right? Or my trading account. So what do you guys think about that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And by the way, right now it's about 3 p.m. We're getting into power hour on this beautiful Monday, by the way. Hope you guys are having a great start to your week. And we have all the indexes right now in the green. We have the Russell up big time, up way more, leaps and bounds above the other indexes, up 1.5%. The Nasdaq's up 0.1%, Dow's up 03 And let's see here, guys. Uh, metals are down a little bit. Looks like gold's down 0.3, silver's down 2.3%. But overall, we're green across the board, extending the gains from Friday. Which did you guys did you guys see the markets on Friday? We hit an all time high on Friday for the Dow, S and P, and the Nasdaq. And guess what? Today, we did it again. S and P hit or spy hit 485. And that's an all-time high triple Q hit. Let's see here exactly. 424.73. That's an all-time high. And the Dow Jones, let's see here, guys, uh, hit roughly 38,100. There we go. We broke 38,000 on the Dow, which you guessed it is an all-time high. And of course, the Russell is far from all-time highs. Well, I don't want to say far from all-time highs, but it is about, let's see, 20 percentage points away, give or take a little bit. Uh, so we do have some ground to cover there. And I'm looking at 1985 to 2,000 points here on the Russell. If that breaks, guys, we could be getting that move to 2,070, which is where we were at the end of last year. Then if that were to break, then we're talking an overall breakout on this three-year chart, which could get us to the mid-2000s, which is the all-time high on the Russell. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, I'm very curious to hear your opinion. And by the way, I'm curious to also hear where you're watching this video from. If you're in the U.S., what city are you watching this video from? And if you're outside of the U.S., what country or what city in a country outside of the U.S. are you watching this video from? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to get your free stocks from Moomoo, guys. I'm telling you, this is the best promo by far right now. Fund your account with at least 100 bucks Using that link down below, you get five stocks. And fund it with at least $1,000. On top of those five stocks, you get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And the thing is here, guys, each of those could be valued up to $2,000. So it's a no brainer. In other words, get on it. Use that link down below or again, go to stasurfest.com slash moomoo. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys later.